we're going to do a little uh, taste test on the pink brandy wine. The pink brandy wine's a indeterminate tomato, and it's a uh, heirloom variety from the 1800s, and they think the seeds originated out of Pennsylvania from a lady that um, she lived by the Brandywine River and those seats date back to mid 1800s but uh, we tried growing them this year and have had good success and we're about to uh, cut this bad boy open right here I've noticed with these uh, brandy wines, they don't have a lot of seeds, and the flesh is really kind of dense. Uh, these are fairly sound tomatoes for a, for heirloom, but I can already uh, get that good scent off of it, a good ripe, rich tomato uh, smell that when you cut one from the supermarket, sometimes it don't have that rich uh <clears throat> scent to it. it this is a little bit heavier tomato um, they're a, I believe they're like a beefsteak shape is what you would consider them a beefsteak tomato but uh, these are this was one of the smaller ones we had uh, grown so far some of the other ones are a little bit larger than this actually but I'm not going to add any salt or seasoning. What you see is what you get. And I'm going to cut a big old slice off. And I've been craving a mater all day. And I finally got one. We're about to see what it do. That's what's up. It's not real uh, acid tasting. It's got just enough to make it have that kick. The texture is amazing. The texture is some of the best I've ever encountered in a tomato. Like I said, it's not got very many seeds. Uh, it's, it's real rich, real dense. And uh, just a slab of that right there. That's gold, man. That's gold right there. You can't find that in the supermarket. And I'm not trying to uh, brag or boast. We have been super blessed and super lucky with good conditions for tomatoes this year. And uh, we've really babied our heirlooms and they've come through. But that right there is probably one of the best tasting tomatoes that I've ever had, uh, hands down. And I'm not trying to brag or boast, but that's just a good taste in the mater, and I highly, highly suggest growing these. They're freaking awesome. <laughs>